Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about the process of browse and copy. So for that, I have created two programs here. That is program one and program two. So mainly the browse and copy functionality of uh, SEO we used for code merging. So suppose if the requirement is that uh, we have two programs and uh, from the second program, we want to copy the few lines of code into our previous program like uh, suppose I have a few lines of code in written in my program num program two and now I wanted to copy the same thing into the program one so for that reason we can use this uh, browse and copy functionality so now I will show you uh, it practically so for that I will open this program in edit mode so here I have already written few lines of code like from line number 13 to line number 15 I am using the display command for uh, displaying the text 1, text 2 and text 3 on the screen. So now I will uh, make use of uh, browse and copy function and then uh, will fetch out some lines of code from the program too. So to do the same you have to take uh, you have to press the shift F3 command. So once you press the shift F3 function key, you will reach to this screen. Uh, this screen is for browse and copy options. So here mainly we can select the three options that is member, spool file and output queue. So usually we go with this option that is member because we are going to fetch few lines of code from one member to another member. So for that reason, I'm uh, taking the option one here and by default the copy all record is set as no means n uh, we will see this later like uh, in which scenario we make it as a y but for now we will keep the same uh, keep, keep it same as n now from uh, this option we uh, will use like browse and copy member so here we have to specify the member name from which we want uh, to copy the lines of code so i have Two programs uh, one is program one that I am using right now and the lines of code uh, from which program I wanted to copy is program two so from program two we will copy and uh, f uh, copy the lines into program one so that's why I am specifying my second program name here that is program two and below to this we have to put the source physical file name that is QShare myth you can put your physical file name uh, your source physical file name in which your member lies and after this uh, we have to specify our library in my case my library is shermit1 you can specify your library name here and once these details is filled you can press enter so once you hit enter you will see the this kind of screen uh, we can see uh, that now the screen comes in a split mode uh, where the upper portion uh, shows my previous program that is program 1 and the below portion shows the program 2. Now what I will do I will do the page down in my program 2 by clicking here. So these are the lines that I wanted to copy from this source to my program 1 source. So for copying this source we will use the block copy command that is cc. So for select uh, here my block will start from line number 13 so I specify CC here and till line number 15 so I will again press CC here it means this block is now copied and after copying this block, uh, this block we can uh, paste into our previous program so for that reason I am clip, uh, clicking here on my program 1 and then I will do page down here and now wherever you want to paste this code you can just directly use the a command that is after so I have copied this source now whenever I press a and press enter it will get pasted here because uh, this block is now transferred to uh, transferred after the line number 15 so here we can see that from uh, line number 13 to line number 18 my entire code was is there so uh, for this example we have copied these three lines from program 2 to program 1 so this is how uh, the browser or copy option works now i will show you another thing so for that you have to just press uh, the shift f3 again 
and once you reach to this screen you can uh, now we can change this option that is copy all record options so once you press y here or you will take the option y and just press enter then so here we can see that in the uh, program 2 the cc is autom we, we already get the cc here from line number 1 to the last line of the source so what it will do it will copy the entire source code from the second program that we have selected and we, now we just need to paste the code so suppose i wanted to paste this entire code after the line number 22 so what i will do i will just press a here and then press enter and just uh, click on this sec uh, below portion and just press shift f12 sorry uh, just press f12 to uh, came out of this screen and here you can see that the entire code is here so that's why we use this uh, option that is browse and copy option to copy the uh, mem uh, one member to another member and if if we specify this copy all record as y then we can easily copy the entire source code from one member to another member similarly we can copy the uh, sources from the spool file as well so if you want to copy the data from the spool file you can specify your spool file name job name uh, username job number and spool file number and similarly we can copy the source uh, from the output queue as well so if you want to copy some content from the output queue then you can uh, select uh, these option accordingly so for that you have to just change these three options so first of all we have to uh, select the selection and then we can easily specify the details here and just do the browse and copy so yeah uh, that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will uh, discuss more about the rpg concepts and seu concepts so yeah thank you for watching the texture method